or you have to have some kind of effect of mass on you in order to travel through time? Well, uh, there's one thing about what you say that's uh, particularly interesting, uh, especially, uh, and that is that if uh, uh, do you are you aware of any particles that do not have mass? No, because I think everything has mass, or everything that doesn't have mass is in some way affected by a greater object that has mass. So like an electron well, like an electron is a very small amount of mass, but it's being affected by the greater mass of the earth or the other things. Right. What about photons? Do photons have mass? What's a photon? I don't think they do. What is a photon? A uh, photon <coughs> is the particle that uh, conveys energy. And if you look up photons, you find out that photons, which travel at the speed of light, do not have mass. Now, they can't have mass because they travel at the speed of light. And if they had any mass, and then at the speed of light, they would have infinite mass. So they don't have mass. But here's the thing. They also, because they travel at the speed of light, they also don't experience time. That's what I was saying. That's what... Because nothing... Nothing that travels at the speed of light can experience time. So for a photon, it does. the entire the whole history of the universe is one single instant. There's not there's not any difference. Yeah, that's what So that's that's that relates to what you're saying. They don't yeah. have mass and they don't experience time. So I thought you'd be interested. Which is what I said. I said that you have to have mass to travel through time and since they don't have mass they can't travel through time. They're just there, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, well, uh, it's uh, the reasoning uh, that I'm aware of is a, is, is a little different. It fits with what you're saying, uh, but it's, it's that they, they travel at the speed of light and therefore cannot travel through time. Um, they, don't, they don't experience time at all uh, because they go at the speed of light. But that's related to the fact that they have no mass. Yeah. Uh, in any case, uh, you can... Um, uh, you can look them up in Wikipedia. There's a lot of uh, information about photons. Um, although, uh, you know, a lot of it is pretty, I'm looking at it right now, it's pretty, uh, you know, technical stuff. And um, uh, it might also, you might, you might also really want to uh, um, learn about uh, String theory, are you interested in yeah. cosmology at all, or just time travel? Like, just kind of like, I guess cosmology, yeah. I've heard about the string theory, though, actually. I was watching some Stephen Hawking videos once, and he was talking about it. There's a really cool uh, podcast <coughs> that I uh, heard that I can uh, send you a link to. It's up on, uh, uh, it's on iTunes. Uh, it's a... Uh, a physicist from Stanford University, and he's talking about the latest um, uh, theories of uh, how the universe formed and string theory and all that. And it's really amazing what they're coming up with now. It's it the, used to be considered just crazy stuff about multiple different parallel universes all ex all existing at the same time. Um, how uh, our universe is like one little particle that's in a whole sea of foam of parallel universes, that's now, that's now actual mainstream physics. That's not crazy physics anymore. It's, it's absolutely fascinating. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff out there. Um, if you really want to get into it, you end up having to deal with a lot of math, uh, a lot of, uh, of uh, uh, different kinds of calculus and group theory and stuff, which is... Um, it can be annoying, um, but uh, uh, you know a lot of it. You can just uh, get a lot of, of, of value out of just by looking at it on Wikipedia too. So anyway, um, I think you have uh, some reasonable intuitions there, and it sounds like you're talking about Einstein's general theory of relativity. Which is cool. You should read more about it. Uh, actually, his special theory of relativity is is actually rather easy to understand um, uh, compared to the general. The general theory took him like ten years to work out, 
the special theory he worked out in uh, months or something like that. Uh, it wasn't. It's not that complicated. The special theory of relativity is the one where he equates uh, energy and uh, and mass. And the general theory is where he tried to to work in um, um, all of space time together and see all the relationships. And it's a, been an amazingly successful theory. It's just incredible how he he was right about so many things. Uh, so it's fascinating stuff. Uh, and uh, you know, look into it. <laughs>